What is up everybody, it is Alex from Everything for iPod, and today I'm just throwing this quick little video out here to show you that Absinthe 2.0 is here. Actually, this looks like 2.0.1, but anyway, this is the second version of Absinthe, so you're gonna get some more device support here, and I am super pumped for this. This is 5.1.1 support, only 5.1.1, so you can't be earlier than that. This has to be 5.1.1. But this is really exciting because there's a lot more new devices. I'll put the link to this page down in the description. So it is an untethered jailbreak, which is awesome. So that means you don't need to plug it into the computer every time you want to boot it up. There is a Mac, Windows, and Linux version. So whatever your platform you're on, you will be fine. And that's why I am including this link to download it rather than um, up uploading it to Tech Terrier. Just because of versions changed and everything, I want you to be able to go to this link and download it yourself. But anyway, um, you can, if you're already jailbroken on 5.1.1 and you want to just untether it, uh, they tell you you can just search and install Rocky Raccoon 5.1.1 on untether from Cydia and install that and it will make it untethered. But if you're not jailbroken, it's really simple. Uh, you have to download it again. The three download links are down here. And this is what you get. You get uh, this, just a change log and then a readme. So let's open up the application here. I'm not actually going to do it just because I'm already jailbroken on my 4S. And I'm not sure if I'm jailbreaking my uh, new iPad just yet. Just because I, uh, you know, I want to see if this has any faults in it first. Just because I'm actually going away soon and I don't want the, my iPad to keep crashing. So maybe I'll test it out in a future video and show you maybe this weekend. But for now, this is just what it looks like. It's just to plug your device in and click jailbreak and you're all good to go. And it will install Cydia. So again, links in the description for the downloads. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to get this out to you guys to show you that it is here finally. And actually, let me just show you what devices it supports. Again, 5.1.1 only. But we have um, Mac uh, OS 10 5, so 0.5, which is Lion, or sorry, uh, Leopard to Lion, so uh, Leopard, Snow Leopard, and Lion. Windows XP, Vista, and 7, uh, so no Windows 8 support yet. And then Linux, I don't even, x86 and x86 64 bit, it looks like. I don't really follow Linux. Um, again, supported firmware 5.1.1. Supported devices, we have the iPad 3, which uh, there's only one version of. The iPad 2, which again, one version of, um, like, one version for, uh, sorry, I don't know why I even said that. The Wi-Fi version, Verizon, and then the global slash AT&T version. And then you have the iPad 1 is also supported. iPhone 4S, there's one version of, that's what I got confused. The AT&T and Verizon or GSM, CDMA, uh, iPhone 4, so all versions of the iPhone 4. Uh, 3GS iPod Touch 4G and 3G, and then not supported devices, the new iPad 2, the uh, Revision 2, which is the new model of the iPad 2, is not supported, the Wi-Fi one, and the Apple TV 2, version 2, isn't supported, and the Apple TV 3 isn't supported, so basically the, uh, the little black Apple TVs are not supported, and the silver one isn't either, so I don't even know why they included that, but no Apple TV support. And it's really easy to use, so again, links in the description. I know this is a really short video, but I'll probably have a better video, maybe a review or a tutorial or something tomorrow on something, I don't know. But I have an extended weekend off from school Monday, so expect some videos this weekend. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.